Hello guys, welcome back. <coughs> Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be comparing AirPods Pros to the AirPods 3. Now, if you've seen my unboxing video of AirPods 3, you probably remember that I said I'll do a comparison video. So here it is. And in today's video, I'm gonna compare these two by design, battery life, sound test. They essentially tell you which one should you buy of these, because this is actually, to me, seems like an interesting comparison. The AirPods 3s, they're new, they're great, but the AirPods Pros, even though they're two years old, almost three now, they have better features. So which one should you buy? I'm gonna answer this question for you, but it mainly depends on your task. So let's begin with this video and start comparing these two. Okay, so let's now compare AirPods Pre's design to the AirPods Pros. Now I got the AirPods Pros index case so you can determine which one's which. This is free, this is pro. Anyway, so I'm gonna get these buds out of there. And as you can see in design, they're very similar because they are really. It's just AirPods Free or AirPods without ear tips. Now the good thing about AirPods Pros is they come with ear tips, so you can exercise them, you can travel in them and because they have a seal. And I got the AirPods Pros first before AirPods 3, obviously, because these are older. And I'll tell you what, AirPods Pros are my travel headphones or earphones. They're good for traveling because you have noise cancellation. I, I take them when I exercise. I take them when I cycle. I take them on the plane because they have the seals, uh, the ear tips. It's good when you're exercising and because they have noise cancellation, it's good when you're on a plane. I tried to use AirPods 3 on a plane and it's well, not a, I, I, after using AirPods 3 on a plane, I missed AirPods Pro's noise cancellation. But anyway, let's talk about design. Both earbuds, I believe, have the same size stem. I feel like the, Air, the AirPods 3 stem is a bit thicker uh, because of the battery. But the design, as you can see, like bringing up the clothes, they're very similar, except ones without ear tips. Uh, which one do I prefer? Well, the AirPods 3 look better to me. I just like them without the ear tips. I don't know why. The AirPods Pros, even though they look very similar, I don't know. I prefer the AirPods 3s, but when they're both in your ears, you can't really determine which one's which. So it doesn't really matter because they're similar. But yeah, the design, it's good. Now let's talk about the cases. Well, again, both of them are similar. It's a big change from the AirPods, original AirPods design. The original AirPods was kind of vertical, you know? This is more like this and yeah, they're similar, except the AirPods Pro's case is a bit wider, but they're similar. Now, let's talk about connectivity. As you know, with AirPods, very easy. You just grab your phone whether it's the pros or the freeze because they both have the same h1 chip which is very fast to press so i take these out i put them in my ears and as you can see airpods connected now if i take these out and put them back i'm gonna take the airpods pros now put them in my ears as you can see, connected. Even though I have two AirPods on one iPhone, it just automatically connects and it works with all of my Apple devices thanks to, you know, the app Apple's ecosystem. But yeah, as you can see, very fast connection. Uh, so that's good. Anyways, let's now talk about the how they sit on your ears. So I'm going to start with the AirPods and the AirPods the thing I liked about the AirPods is they don't seal your ears. Now I know that I know that I talked about that I like to having a seal when I'm talking about the reason for what the AirPods are good for is when you're just sitting or you're chilling on your laying down on the bed, watching YouTube videos, listening to music or something like that. AirPods are great for that. The problem with AirPods Pros is they kind of start to put pressure on ears after a long time of wearing them. The AirPods, they don't. And what's also good about having no ear tips is they don't create a seal. Now, why might that be good is when you want to hear your surroundings, you know, for example, I don't know, someone's calling you, 
for for dinner. You know, your friends or family are calling you for dinner or something. Um, if you have the AirPods Pro ca- noise cancellation, on, you're probably not gonna hear. But with AirPods, you can. And even though this transparency mode, you know, kind of switching between the modes, it's a bit you know annoying. With AirPods, they're perfect for doing stuff like sitting down, lying down on bed, and just listening to music or watching YouTube videos and phone calling. That's why I like AirPods. AirPods Pro, on the other hand, they are for different tasks. So as I explained, AirPods Pros are great when you're doing exercise and that's when the seal comes in handy. They stay better in my ears when I shake my head, when I do some sort of exercises and when I go cycling, when I go on the plane, that noise cancellation really helps to cancel out all that noise and I can hear my music better. So with Fit, I like them both because both of them have advantages of their own. So AirPods Pro, great for exercise, traveling on the plane, cycling, all that type of stuff. AirPods Free, great for sitting down, listening to a podcast, listening to music, chilling, phone calling, all that kind of stuff. Now, I've compared the fit. It's just up to you, I guess, what is your most need, which one do you want? But now, the most important thing, let's compare the sound. How do they sound? So I'm going to start with the AirPods 3s. I'm going to put both ears in my and I'm not going to I'm not going to uh, activate noise cancellation or transparency mode on the AirPods Pros. I'm just going to use it as a normal mode. And I'm going to do a bit of listening guys and I'll come back with you with my verdict. <laughs> Okay, so I just listened to AirPods 3. Now I'm gonna switch to the AirPods Pros, see what I think about those. But AirPods 3, they sound really good. But which ones do sound better? I'm gonna find out. Okay guys, so I've listened to both of them and I'm gonna give you my verdict. So the AirPods Pros, they have a pretty flat uh, sound. So what I mean by that is their EQ is quite flat. They have nice mids, nice highs, but they don't have bass as what I've heard from. Also, AirPods Pros are louder than AirPods Pro Suite, and that's thanks to the seal that you have with the ear tips. They're just louder. But I've noticed like there's no bass in the Pros. And with the Freeze, you have a bass, but the highs don't sound as clear to me as the AirPods Pros. Uh, the mids sound good, but the lows are good, but the highs are not. Pros, no bass, good mids and good highs. So both have, again, their own advantages. Now that's my ears. And I'm not an audiophile, I might be wrong. For You're just gonna have to t- take a listen to them yourselves to find out which ones you like more. But as I said, with AirPods Free, they have better bass. AirPods Pro has better highs. And it's louder because you have the seal. But both sound good. Both sound good. And it's just something maybe you choose what you prefer. Do you like highs or do you like lows? And so yeah. Anyways, let's now talk about battery life. So both earbuds have a 24 hour wireless charging case. So you can charge them wirelessly and the case should last up to 24 hours. The AirPods 3 has six hours of battery life and the AirPods Pro has four and a half hours of battery life. But of course, you, what you can do is just use one earbud at a time, maximize battery life, and also you have that 24 hour wireless charging case that's gonna provide you extra battery life. But I've been using both. I don't know who listens for music and stuff for four hours straight, but the battery life on both lasts me enough. Okay, so I compared all the aspects, guys. Now I'm going to answer the question. Which one should you buy? And to be honest, it is a hard one to answer because the thing with AirPods 3 is they're new. They came out this, well, last year, but they're a couple of months ago. AirPods Pros are now two years old and they're a bit old. And not in the fact that in terms of specs, uh, AirPods 3s and AirPods Pro specs are quite similar, but it's just an old product. And 
Air, new AirPods Pros, new AirPods Pros are on the way for sure. There have been rumors, so it you, you kind of don't want to you know buy the AirPods Pros before the new ones come out. So right now, really for most people, I think AirPods Freeze might be the choice. Maybe for workouts and stuff like that, access buy like Beats Fit Pros or Beats Studio Buds because Beats have good fit and they sound good as well. But for everyday usage, like phone calling, chilling on bed, AirPods 3s are good. And AirPods Pros might have a bit of better sound thanks to that seal. But I, I don't know. I mean, they're a bit old now. And I would want to wait for AirPods Pros to come out. So I would probably stick with the 3s. And they're a bit cheaper as well. They have, a seven, they have an 80 pound difference, I believe. But yeah, guys, uh, let me know in the comments. What do you think of my verdict? Uh, am I right? And as I said, it could also differ from people's tasks, you know. Someone want to might want to go exercise and shoveling. AirPods Pros are better for that. Someone mo might want earbuds just to listen on the bed while watching something. AirPods Freeze are better for that. Bo both of these earbuds have their speciality, at which they're better at. And it's just up to you to decide which ones do you need. But because the AirPods Pro is a bit old, I wouldn't really pick them. Maybe I'll pick Beats, but not AirPods Pros. That's why the AirPods 3 would be my choice. Thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you again in the next video.